So this is a Boyd stock varmint thumb hole uh, that I've been fitting for my Savage Axis heavy barrel. I've uh, been doing a few modifications here and there, but in particular I wanted to show you what I've done. So you can see where I've already bedded the stock and I'm pillar mounting it. Uh, now with these pillars, they are 3 8 inch OD and a quarter inch ID. So with that 3 8 inch OD, you, you will have to drill through the stock. And one thing to watch out for, if you can see that here, when you're drilling through here, it's very, very easy for that laminate wood to crack off there. It's going to be paper thin on that edge. And I've had this happen nine times out of ten. But, uh, but it's an easy fix. Once it's drilled through, just seal it off with epoxy. It's just that little top section there. Uh, what I also did, since I already got the metal trigger guard, I'm trying to get rid of all the plastic on the, on the on the mounting. I bedded the uh, the trigger guard mount here and the way the reason why you can see when I set that in I wanted to flush fit. You can see when when you first get it you can pop that in and it's kind of recessed down and I just wanted to flush fit so I went ahead and bedded that that area. But uh, the good thing about it, it also made it better, uh, a better fit for the pillar. Now this is a one inch long pillar, the front is a uh, half inch. But with this one inch, after I bedded the trigger guard, you know, I only had to file off uh, maybe five, five to seven thousandths off of the pillar to get a good, perfect fit for it. Um, the front the same way, and it they, they both went in pretty good. Now for the front clip, everybody knows, I mean with the, with the Boyd stock it's, it's a plastic piece. Um, so I went and CNC milled this out of 6061 aluminum and it fits right in. So you can see where um, I did not add, I did not include that, uh, that little hole extension that comes on the plastic piece. Uh, that is not included on that. And the reason why, because now this sits directly down on the pillar. So it just optimizes your pillar mount. Now I've got metal to metal, front and rear. And now I can, when I'm mounting the action in, I can really torque it down to spec and not worrying about any plastic cracking on it. Um, Now we do offer, on our website, we do offer the clip itself and we also include it, we also have a kit that includes the clip and the pillars. And you can find this on our website at uh, v3tactical.com.